So far this year we've had Warrior, which was like the Rocky for MMA, and now we have Real Steel, which is like the Karate Kid of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Like, as a boxer, Charlie was the top contender number two in the world. Then the fight game changed. Real Steel is directed by Sean Levy. That's the main reason I wasn't thinking this movie would be that great. He's directed Cheaper by the Dozen 1 and 2, The Pink Panther 1 and 2, and Night at the Museum 1 and 2. Real classic films. As the credits for this movie rolled, I realized it's produced by Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg. How did I not know that? It stars Hugh Jackman, Evangeline Lilly, Anthony Mackie, and a young kid who I don't know. It's a future time where robots are now the fighters, and humans don't really do the fighting anymore. Now everyone watches robots fighting. And Hugh Jackman and his son, who he hasn't really seen ever, decide to go with this uh, this robot who's mainly only used for sparring battles to try to use him in battles to see if he can win. Sounds like it could be a fun movie, right? It actually is. This ain't a video game. This is for real. Let's make some money! I really actually had a lot of fun with this movie. I was really surprised. I had literally very low expectations going into this film, which may have helped a bit. One of the things that really helps the movie for me is that it has a strong emotional undercurrent. It's not just the, the robots and the, the fighting with that. It actually has a very strong emotional side to the film where uh, Hugh Jackman doesn't really know his son at all. His son doesn't know him. But the one thing they have in common is they both really like this, uh, this, this whole world of robot fighting and everything. And so through that, they're able to build this relationship and it's it's nice I mean it, it was good it gave the film emotional weight it actually touched me a little bit to be honest I just need a little alone as much as I like you dude you're a bad bad brother give it up Charlie you got nothing left as we know the recent trend with action films is shaky cam just all in your face shaky cam everywhere I mean they can't just film anything anymore everything has to be like no one does real stunts anymore everything is just you know Let's shake the camera and make it look cool. Of course, it never does. Not here. Uh, Sean Levy actually directs the action very well, and it's a very good-looking film. I liked Hugh Jackman in this movie. I've always liked him, but he has not exactly been 100% consistent with his films anyway. He's always good, but his films... Not always. And I liked the kid in the movie. The kid didn't annoy me. Now that's something that usually happens with kids. You know, sometimes I just get really annoyed by kids, but not in this movie. I, I liked him. I liked his character. I liked Hugh Jackman's character. They had good chemistry. I liked it. Also, I really liked the robot action. It was actually kind of riveting, some of the matches. Never seen anything like it before. Can we get him a fight? He's a sparring bot. Built to take a lot of hits, but never dishing out any real punishment. His name is Adam. Get him a fight. I did have some problems with the film. Here's some of the issues I had. It's very predictable, to be honest. It, it's a completely predictable film. And so in a lot of ways, you know what's going to come. You know what's happening. And so it's not like it's going to surprise you that much. It's just a really fun time, basically. It's, cr it's, it's one of those crowd-pleasing movies where you're just like, yeah, you know, you're just like, Rrr, you get into it at the end. The whole system of the robots and how they work and how much AI is there and how much actual intelligence of some kind is there, you know what I mean? Never really gone into. It's not really explained. You don't really know where this came from, how it started, the time period. I would have liked to know more about the whole technical aspect of how the robots actually worked. And I know I've done all kinds of wrong by this kid. I just like to do one thing right. So essentially this is just a really fun movie that, that kids will like and that adults can get into. If you like boxing or MMA or anything like that, I think that you will enjoy this movie more than the average person because the, the boxing matches are actually really good. And towards the end, I may have gotten a little emotional. Maybe. I need some steak. So I'm going to give Real Steel a B+. Plus. This is what it's all about. 
If you liked my review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuck, man.